What's going on guys? Today I'll be showing you my top favorite or probably the quote unquote best repositories or sources you could add to any jailbroken iPhone. Now this is mainly for any iOS device that's on iOS 13.5 with the uncovered jailbreak. Now I made a previous video saying like it was like my perfect jailbroken iPhone setup and I said if the video gets 500 likes I'd make more jailbreak videos and you guys smashed it I think it's at like 600 likes now which is crazy but I'm a man of my words so I just have to show you guys these sources and repositories now I chose this video because a lot of people are saying Siobhan how do I add these sources what are the best sources? I'm searching for this tweak, I can't find it, what should I do? So many questions, so I'm just gonna show you guys the tweaks that you should install. Before we start this video, I want to show you how to add a repository. So it's super simple, either you could click the link that's down below in the description or you could just manually copy the link, hit edit, add, then you just paste the repository if you have one. That's all you have to do. Now I'm gonna hop onto my iPhone right here and let me put my screen to this side boom so my screen is right here hopefully you guys could see it now yeah this is my current setup i know you're gonna ask about the wallpaper so links for the wallpaper will be on my website down below in the description so if i go on over to cydia right here i'm just gonna show you guys all my repos as usual if you're new always let cydia load up so yeah Make sure Cydia is loaded up, all right guys? Also, if you guys want to sign up down below, is a link to Skillshare, which gives you guys two months free premium membership. It's only for a thousand people, so make sure you click the link and sign up in the description as well. So as you guys know, some of these repositories are already on the device, so just add the ones that is new to you or you haven't seen before. All right, so this first one, which is banger.com. This is, I think, came pre-installed onto the device and it has the substrate. So do not remove this, this has to stay. Same thing with Big Boss Repo, it came pre-installed. So you have those. All right, next up we have this Shariz. So it's repo.shariz.com. I can't remember what tweak I have from this. I have the calm tweak, yeah. So Shariz, you need that to get the calm lock screen, which is really dope. I know you guys see what that looks like. Next up we have the repo.connor, the dev me. I don't have anything from here, but peep is dope. Next up, we have Dynastic Repo. You want to make sure you have this installed. I have one tweak from here, which is Shy Labels. And Shy Labels is cool because it removes the labels when you're not doing anything, but when you swipe on your home screen, then you can see the icon labels. So I always have this clean look to the home screen. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. I'll try to put the repositories down here in the corner for you guys, but it'll also be in the description as well. Next up, we have Evelyn2 repositories. So this is Evelyn Wynam repo. She has all the repos here for her widgets. So all the different fonts, the different home screen widget, different lock screen widgets. And here you find all the home screen and lock screen widget that you guys were asking about. So this is the source you need to add. Just pause the video, make sure you add evynw.github.io. And they also have the paid repository you could go ahead and add as well. Next up, we have the geometric store. I don't know what I have from here. Oh, I have tweak restrictor. So geometric store, tweak restrictor is a essential tweak you need. For example, some bank applications won't let you sign in because you have a jailbreaking iPhone. So tweak restrictor, add the source, and then you could go ahead and disable certain applications so it doesn't detect the jailbreak. Next up, we have Henriksen Brothers. And this one has my favorite, one of my favorite tweaks. Basically, if you're playing me media or music in the background and you respring your device, you could still hear the music playing so it doesn't kill the vibe. And I have Roadrunner installed from here. Next up, we have the Juvir.github repo. And this is a very good repo as well. Let's see what tweak I have from here. I currently don't have, I think I have a theme. I don't remember what I have with this repo guys, but I definitely recommend you guys to install this one. It's the Jilvarian repo. Next up, we have the June's iPhone repo. This is like a multi-purpose source. I usually have a deal with them that could give you guys a discount, but I currently don't have one right now. But this allows you to have Zen HTML, so make sure you have the June's iPhone super secret repo installed. Next up, we have Kyron's repo, which is Angel times the wind. So angelxwin, cydia.angelxwin.net, recommend it. 
Next up, this one is from Ketao, and this lets you get free, like free tweaks, so paid tweaks for free. I would recommend it because not all of them work, and it might like um, it might mess with your device. So I would recommend installing this. All my tweaks I normally pay for, but if I'm trying out a tweak and I'm not sure if I would like it, I would use this repository. But then when I like the tweak or I'm just testing it, then I'd pay for it. But yeah, if you want free tweaks, paid tweaks for free, come here and only use this if you're in a country that doesn't support the payment method. But if you genuinely like a tweak, I would advise you guys to go ahead and purchase it. It's only a dollar or two. So yeah, just so you guys know that. Next up is Marona Repo. So this is repo.rpgfarm.com. Let's see what we have from here. I have a font, which allows you to add funds. I have Axon, which is the priority hub. So yeah, definitely check this one out. We have the Mod My Repo, which is an archive. You can install that. I think it comes pre-installed though. Now, Packix, one of the biggest and probably the best repository out right now. Packix is a must have repository. Guys, stop what you're doing, install Packix, repo.packix.com. I wish I had a code for you guys to get some deals, but I don't, but you need to add this repository. Then we have the Ryan Petrich repo right below that. Very good repository as well. I'm not sure what I have from here, but every time I install a new jailbreak, I always have Ryan Petrick and Packix installed. Next up, we have the Shep Gobar repo right here. Let's see what we have from there. Nothing as well. Most of these repositories are like what to just always install because I'm just so used to it. So you just won't go wrong with all of these repositories. We have the Soda repo, which I think I use for my control center. You just have a lot of themes. I think I have it from a control center. Let's try to find it. Can't find it right now, but I know it's from a control center. Yes, found it. Where is it? I just saw the, yeah, saw the repo icons for the control center. So yeah, definitely recommend you guys to check that one out. We have the Spark Dev repository. I'm sure I have something from here, battery percent X. Spark devs give the, the, the battery percentage instead of the battery icon. So install that tweak, that repository sparkdev.me. We have tweaked news. This is a new repository I just seen surfacing around the place. Well, I think you guys should get this as well. It has modern settings. So it's repo.tweaked.com. As I said before, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video check out the repository stuff like that you know next up we have unlim apps og repository which has like twitter plus plus instagram plus plus which allows you to save videos download videos so much tweak stuff the application basically every social media application on steroids is on unlim apps and then the zod tt and makati is an old repository that comes in with the iphone so yeah that's all the repos i have on my device guys i hope you Enjoy this video. It was straightforward. I leave all the repositories linked down below in the description so you guys could see and I also showed you on my phone. This is all that I'm using. So yeah, don't want to pack your phone up with too much repositories. It might drain battery, it might move slow when you're refreshing stuff. And yeah, <laughs> I think that was, a, I don't know what that was, like a spider web or something. But yeah, that's basically it. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Super simple. Remember all the links down below in the description. And as I always say, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.